Hi everyone, today we'll be making a React side nav bar with proper routing. We are in our app.js uh, component and from here, let's first install the extension. I have this one installed for React ES7 plus and let me just go to Explorer. Yeah, so let's uh, find our CDB sidebar. So it's an already made uh, React Bootstrap uh, by using React Bootstrap 5. They have already made this. Let me expand the screen. So as we can see, we have to import it and we can see different types of sidebar that they have already made. So this is the collapsed version. We will see the icons and on expand, we'll see also the name attached to it. So I'm liking this sidebar. You can use any other sidebar. This is the light mode sidebar. So they have got even badges if you need for the project. So let's first install it. So we'll install CDB React. I'll do a control C. And then here I'll do a control C to terminate the job. Then I'll do a control V and it will install the CDB sidebar for me, CDB React package for me. And from that, we can use this one. So let's just go to our, yeah, so I'm liking this dark mode one. So what I'll do is, I'll just copy this piece of code and I'll head over to my Visual Studio Code and for this, let's just get rid of this. And for now, I have not written anything. First, let's just make a source, uh, a components folder where we will keep our sidebar.js component. So within here, I'll add a new file. Let it be sidebar dot js so as i have that extension installed i can do rfce and it will get me an already made react function so everything is done here now what i'll do is i'll get rid of the sidebar do an enter and then what i will do is whatever i copied from this i'll just paste it here so we have done it then we'll go to the bottom we'll see they have this whole line of code so what we can do is we can just take this return piece and copy it and then we can just paste it here. Now let's just save and see if we have it up and running. Now what I'll do is I'll do an npm start. And it will start the development server. Let's close this. and see if it is working. It's taking some time. Okay, so uh, it did not came because in our app component, we have got nothing here and we haven't saved this. So what I'll do is I'll just do sidebar. As we can see, we already got this import one Let's just remove this logo and we'll do a control S and it will automatically compile. Yeah, so as we can see our sidebar is here. So what we got to do is uh, we want it to be full length and let's see if it is collapsing. Yes, it is collapsing. So right now let's just 
increase the length of the sidebar so what I'll do is I'll just go to sidebar.js let me expand the screen so in here if you are seeing this is our sidebar here we'll add an inline style and what I'll do is this is our JSX uh, syntax you can say here I'll do a height let me do height is 100 pH okay this should be colon and let me just save it and if we see it we can see it the full length and now um, let's just head over here and we'll do a float left for it to stick to the left we want it to be sticking to the left we'll do a control s and of course it would be there now for this these icons that we see here these icons are taken from font awesome like cdb sidebar uses font awesome so we'll just head over to font awesome we'll go to font awesome icons and within icons what we can do is we can change so for say we want a profile icon i'll just search profile and see we are getting the user one so let me just so the user is written what you can do is you can just go to the code and wherever they have written th large i can just do or here here if i want the profile of a person let me just do it profile so it's fafa bars i guess here i have to change it to user and let us do a control c and check if everything is working fine yeah you see the user icon is changed and here we are getting the profile so likewise you can change all of these according to your preferences so i'll just go over the code and right now i'm not changing all of these what i can do is i will just tell you that how we can do the routing for this thing so for that let's install our react router dom so what i'll do is i'll do a control c to stop the bad job and then i'll install pm install react router dom so while our react router dom is getting installed we will make uh, pages like if we go to our app component so we have to like let me show you so we have to make pages for these components like when clicking these the pages should okay so we need to put bars here because of course no one is going to click here for it to collapse and expand this kind of like the users icon so what our main concern is right now that on clicking dashboard or dashboard page should come and on clicking components the components so for that under the source folder we would be making a folder pages and in that folder we'll see what do we have we have dashboard we have components we have metrics and this one let's put bars first because i am not liking the view there and let's put user here so the profile would come here and let's make this like um home let it be home and 
let's name this one as dashboard i am not changing any other icon here so our primary concern right now i'll do a control save let's see yes okay i have not started our app let me do an npm start so while it's starting let's focus on the pages so inside the pages we would first create a profile.js let me rename it profile.js and then we'll create dashboard.js and we had another one metrics.js so now we have got three pages for these three items now we head over all these pages we do a rfce and it will automatically come the function component do RFC in everything then we have all these pages now let's go to our app.js and in here we'll need browser router route and routes so our browser router will be wrapping all everything that is inside our app I'll do a control X and then I'll paste it under the sidebar first let's let me import all those from react router DOM and routes from react router dom so we have the browser router here now let me do tab to fix the indentation now after that i want routes so i'll do routes and under that i'll do route route and I'll do path so let the path be just the local host one like we can see this is bars this is home everything has changed now let's close this previous one so what we can do is let the path be this and our element So for the element, let me go to sidebar and see what we can. So for the profile, let the profile be like our home page and dashboard will be going to another page that is slash dashboard and metrics will also go to, will route to something like slash metrics. So for this, uh, let profile it would have imported on its own like see it got imported on its own now let's just copy this and paste it two times and now we need a dashboard and we need metrics routing our dashboard will be pointing to dashboard.js and metrics to metrics.js pages so we have imported all these so our routing is also done 
now what we will do is we go to sidebar and we link all of these so i want the link with like i want to link it with profile dashboard and metrics so these are the menu items so what i'll do is i'll import first i'll import nav link from react router dom and then i'll just come here i'll do nav link to so let profile be the main page that is just localhost 3000 then i'll close it i'll take this ending tag to a control x paste it over here then i'll do another nav link to now this one can point to dashboard let me cut this paste it over here and let's this one get linked to what was it metrics so i have to cut this again and paste it below the item so now we have linked all these profile and dashboard everything uh, to the pages here to whatever is in the page we just have the names like dashboard metrics and profile so what i'll do is i'll just save everything i'll do a control s here control s here a control s here you can use the shortcut key Now, as I'll head over, we can see the profile is coming because we are initially in the profile page. There is no routing, as you can see. For profile, we have got nothing. When we head over to dashboard, we can see that dashboard is coming. Like whatever we have in dashboard, we just have this. You can have all your whatever you want to display in it. And when we go over to metrics, we can have the metrics one. So this is how you do the routing as we can see and this is yeah so on collapsing let's check yeah it is getting called profile dashboard and metrics you can also like change the footer to whatever you want it so our dashboard is done thank you for watching